Uh, hello YouTube world, uh, I'm the second son of my father who's the owner of this YouTube channel and the reason I'm here and the reason I'm talking in English is that we've seen several comments that are written in English and we believe that there are several English speaking viewers that are kindly enough watching my father's channel so I thought uh, it will be fun or like uh, if, if I make some videos in English so that you don't really have to uh, rely on like translators, all those kind of things. So, um, yeah, I'm going to talk about math. And t t this, today I got a question from a Japanese Mathematics Olympics first round. So uh, it's a it's a test that anybody can take, and it is to choose uh, who's going to participate in the the final round in the. International Mathematic Olympics, and uh, basically there there are twelve questions that are given in the duration of three hours, and basic uh, normally uh, average people can answer up to like two, three, four questions, and if you want to pass the first round, then you have to uh, answer at least like four, five, six. It depends on the year, but and nobody can actually. Uh, solve all 12 problems because it's like too hard and this question that I brought here is from 2016 and it's question 5 so it's like uh, it's meant to be like fifth uh, hardest question amongst the 12 and but actually it's quite like easy peasy lemon squeezy kind of problem so that's why I uh, that's why I chose this question today so Let's begin with the explanation of this question. So, how many possible ways are there to divide this 11 times 11 grid into five rectangles where one of them must not share any of the side with its original rectangle side and do not consider any, like, even if it rotates and it, if it's the same, we don't consider it as the same, it's the different patterns and then we have to count how many there are. So let's dive into it. Okay, so what I did when I did, took this test is to, you know, in this kind of, you know, pattern counting problems, I often uh, just go ahead and like, like visualize what this question is looking for. So as it says, the rectangles that doesn't share any of the side with the original. So you just go ahead and like, okay, how about like, this one here, it's so random, but like this, this rectangle here, do not share any side with the originals, right? Okay, so counting how many rectangles these kind of rectangles can be made within this 11 times 11 grid is fairly simple. So if you choose just two vertical and horizontal line out of this 1 to 10, uh, lines then it would automatically end up in a rectangle that does not share any size so in this example so you just have to choose this line here one one and two here and another one is like one two here and then it would actually in the middle it would end up in the kind of rectangle that we want to count so for example we can do another example by this so if we chose this two vertical uh, lines then I can choose this one line here two line here and This would end up as a rectangle that we are looking for so in this sense the uh, First we can count how many these kind of rectangles we can make out of this grid. It's fairly simple. So you just choose two lines out of uh, uh, Ten lines that and so this can be vertical. It can be either vertical horizontal, but then another to uh, choosing out from 10 choices. So it's a uh, combination calculation, it's fairly simple. You just 10 times 9 divided by 2 times 1 times 10 times 9 divided by 2 times 1 and do some calculation and then it would end up 2025. So, question is not ended yet, of course, it's just how many rectangles we can make out of, I mean, how many, this kind of uh, not side sharing the rectangles we can make out of this grid is 2025. So now we have to consider 
how we can divide the, the rest of the area into another four rectangles. Okay, so now it's time to see uh, in how, uh, what ways can we divide this rest of the, the, the grid into four rectangles. So, uh, like I said, it's always good to you know just go ahead and see like what kind of rectangles you can make out of this. So you know uh, when I was solving this problem and, and the, the exact uh, I mean uh, when I was participating in this uh, event, I was okay. Go ahead and like okay, this. You can make one rectangle here, one rectangle here. So this will be number two. And I would okay. It's a very narrow one, but I can make like one here number three and okay I'm gonna make one somewhere here okay number four and then now I'm stuck right because you can't really divide I mean you have only one rectangle left because you have to divide it into five but you're left with like this like flipped L-shaped uh, area which you can't call it a rectangle so so by doing these kind of, you know, try and error, you'll get to notice that in, uh, in order to divide this uh, grid into five rectangles, you can't really make like two uh, rectangles on one side of this number one rectangle. So like I did here, if you make two and three on the right side of this rectangle, then you'll end up with space that you can't really divide it into two more rectangles. So you'll end up that you you always have to divide one side, so uh, one side of this uh, rectangle into one shape. So you can't like you can't even do like these kind of stuff. That would end up in like you have to make six rectangles. So you can't really do that. So you always have to like make this kind of rectangle here. So maybe I don't. It may be hard to see it. You have to make this kind of rectangle, or this kind of rectangle, or this kind of rectangle in order to keep it into five rectangles. So, uh, after we discovered that, it's fairly simple. So, it's kind of like, in how many ways can you share this corner, 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 corner with this rectangle? So, like, think about this rectangle. So, uh, if you think this of, uh, so this corner can be shared by this part and this part. So either this number four rectangle can you know take in and then make a rectangle here, or either this part can take in and then make a rectangle here. And then just by doing so, uh, you will end up. Uh, and then uh, and by doing so, you can just count how many. Uh, in how many ways can you, you can divide the rest of the area into four and then you just times it by how many rectangles like the non side sharing rectangles you can make and then that would end up an answer. How can you count uh, the way to divide the rest of the, the grid? It's fairly simple. You just think about this line and this line, this line and this line, this line, this line and here and here. So Let's begin with the right, uh, top right corner. So, if you, uh, if you erase either this line or this line, then you would end up in a rectangle that you want to create. Okay, it's a bad English, sorry, but I'm gonna just show it to you. If you erase this blue line here, blue line here, then it would end up in this rectangle. And then you do the exact same thing with the rest. So if you want to erase this one, and also if you want to erase, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and erase this, then it will be left with another big rectangle. And then, okay, either the, so I'm gonna erase this one, then it will be number two, three, four and five here. So this is the big rectangle. Okay, did you get it? So what you really have to do is pretty simple. You just have to erase 
this or this, this or this, this or this, and then you automatically end up in five rectangles that you want to have. So this can be, okay, maybe I, I should show you another example. Like, okay, let's get back to what it was. Uh, forget, okay, no, okay. Just forget the numbers for a second. So you can, I don't know, erase. So it's, it's either this or this, so this. Like I'm gonna erase this one. So number five will be actually this, right? And then you can't really divide, uh, erase both of it because you'll of course end up in two, uh, you, of course you'll end up in this L-shaped one. So you can't really uh, erase both of them. So you, you can only erase one of them, but you can just erase this one uh, for a second. Then, okay, I'll keep both of these. So uh, now I'm gonna erase this one. So number three will be like this, this entire space. Okay. And okay, go ahead and it's this corner I'm thinking of, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase this one. So number four will be like this. And okay, I'm gonna erase this one too. So number four would be this big narrow rectangle. So it's just choosing each corner's line, uh, which uh, line on each corner to erase, and then you'll automatically end up in the five. Rectangles, rectangles that you want to have. So, it's just counting that. It's pretty simple. You have two choices here, two choices here, two choices here, two choices here. Two choice, two choice, two choice, two choice. Yeah, 16. Pretty simple, right? So, then, as we did uh, previously, there are 2,025 possible number one rectangles that we can make out of this 11 times 11 grid. So, and then uh, right now we, we did that we can actually divide the rest of the area uh, into five, uh, four rectangles in 16 ways for each rectangles. So this is just a, one example, but you can of course do if, if the number one rectangle was like here, number one here, then you'll just do the same. Just this, consider this corner, this corner, this big corner, and this corner. Erasing either of these will be what you, what you will be doing. So exactly the same, so you just times 16. And I haven't done the calculation yet, so let's just quickly do it. And 12, 5, 2, 0, 2. One, four, two, three. So thirty-two thousand and four hundred will be the answer. So there are thirty-two thousand four hundred ways to divide uh, in the way that the question uh, asks asked us to count. So this doesn't sound that hard. This was actually the question that I felt the like easiest amongst the twenty sixteen questions so uh, but uh, if you dig deeper into this Japanese mathematics uh, Olympics uh, first round question there are a lot of like hard questions like it's asking for whatever like count the amount of people that will be left after like a werewolf king in the village or whatever I, I don't really remember because it was <laughs> I never tried to solve it but there are lots of good questions and then there are lots of thoughts that are put into those kind of questions. So I would try to uh, introduce those kind of questions in English so you can get a glimpse of what kind of Japanese people are, I mean, what kind of uh, knowledge that the Japanese Mathematical Olympic Committee is requiring for those who would participate in international uh, Olympic game. Uh, so uh, please leave a comment of this video if, if you prefer it or if you don't really <laughs> need it then just you know I'll get the hell out of here <laughs> yeah, if you want to if you prefer my father's video uh, please continue watching it and hopefully see you guys next time thank you